frustrations with the Missouri legislature reach a tipping point for the Cardinals. The issue is legalized sports betting. New at 10, Fox News' Andy Banker goes one-on-one -on -one with the Cardinals team president, Bill DeWitt III. No, when it comes to doing interviews, Cardinals team president Bill DeWitt III is typically pretty measured. But on the issue of sports gaming, after hitting roadblocks in the Missouri legislature for four to five years in a row, his passion starting to come out. This is going to happen, okay, whether it's this year, next year, the year after, or in five years. But it's not going to, for us to just throw away this money that's sitting there in the state of Missouri is is just insanity. We feel like it's kind of Groundhog Day this year. Once again, sports betting easily passes in the Missouri House, only to get bogged down in the Senate, where measures to legalize video slot machines for bars and gas stations get added on. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's honestly the most cynical political thing I've ever seen. It's frustrating and fans should be frustrated. So St. Louis and Kansas City's top pro sports teams are shifting their focus from the capital to their fans, letting voters decide the issue. The teams already have plans for getting the needed signatures from the public to be on the ballot in 2024. Which actually we're pretty well primed to be able to do. <laughs> we got a few people coming through the doors here. I just don't think we have any choice but to pursue that option. Lead. More and more, he says fans want to be able to bet whether Dylan Carlson gets a hit or Paul Goldschmidt belts a home run. They can legally do so in neighboring states, just not in Missouri. Our fans are just going across the street to Illinois to do it. And over in Kansas City, they're going over to Kansas City, Kansas to do it. And that tax revenue is just leaving the state. It's, it's really silly. Sports betting is expected to generate 20 to $40 million a year in state tax revenue, plus millions for the sports teams via sponsorship deals. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.